So I got my YOLO box pro today. Um, I'm really impressed with it. The the build quality is a way way better than the original one. Um, it's heavier, a lot heavier I feel. Um, but the, the screen is way more responsive than the original one. At the minute I've got um, GoPro Hero 9, a Sony PJ410, um, a Sony A6000 connected to the original Yola box, and um, a Sony AX53 connected to the Pro as well. So I've got three cameras on the Pro and just one on this one. Um, but it's, it's just way quicker than when the last one. So let's try um, a live stream. Now before, if I tried streaming with two cameras on the original YOLO box, I'd get, say, between 15 and 20 FPS. It was very jerky, jut juttery. The stream um, as you can see now with three cameras connected it's 29 fps it's not struggling at all um, let me start stream on the original yolo box and then i'm going to try and connect them both together so i'll try and get four cameras on the on the pro And this is connected wireless to my home network. There's no 4G or Ethernet. It's just Wi-Fi. So they're both live streaming now. As you can see, the uh, the original's at 29. Because it's only got the one camera connected. Um, add video source. Live stream. So this should bring in the Sony A6000. And there it is. And I think there's about a one second delay. Something like that. Maybe a little bit more. It's still uh, no drop frames on both. Uh, 29 FPS, 29 FPS. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Another one where I used to get um, drop frames or the FPS would go really slow is if I did a side by side. Um, so let's pick that one and the live stream. Let's, uh, oh, sorry. And the live video. Let's try that one. Um, I haven't got any backgrounds on this one, so let's. So that's the live stream and the Sony AX53 and it's still 29 FPS, there's no drop in frames there, no drop at all. Um, let's change the, the camera. Video source, side by side. Yeah. Same again, no, that's the GoPro and the AX53, and there's no drop frames. Let's try doing. Um, the live stream. Let's get the GoPro going on the on the Yolo box original. See how that copes. I would imagine it would uh, really struggle. It's on 28 FPS, there's no no drop frames or juttery or anything. That is at the Sony. Yeah, that's the Sony AX53 being brought in. I'm impressed. And uh 
we've got to get this scoreboard sorted out. That is, um, it's not good. I know they've got it in the pipeline, but it's been like that for a while now. But it's not struggling at all with three cameras. And then if you bring the live stream one in, it still doesn't struggle, it still doesn't drop frames. Could do with, um, which has been mentioned on the forums about the customization of the bitrate to increase the quality um, on the stream and on the recording. The um, thing I forgot to mention is um, the HDMI out on the Yolo Box Pro now works with my uh, Teradek Video X so I can um, do the production recordings to an SD card which in good quality and I can also um, use ShareLink's, Teradek ShareLink server service and um, bond the internet connection so I'm in a, like a low internet connection area um, I can use ShareLink and bond the, um, the 4G signal, the Wi-Fi from my phone and um, my Netgear M1 router. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with the, the Olobox Pro. It's early days yet, I'm sure I'll find problems with it, like you do, but I was always critical of the, the original one, but they've made vast improvements with this one. I'm impressed.